Ken Hauser, meat specialist from the Nashville Division, along with fellow meat specialist Stephen Patchell. Stephen and I are here today to show you how to take three widely used primals, the bottom round flat, the peeled knuckle, and the shoulder clod, and show you how to merchandise them to get you more variety, more sales, and more profit in your store. The first one we're going to start with is just the basic way to cut a peeled knuckle. First, you trim it up. First, take a roast off. We're going to take a couple of sirloin tip steaks. And then one more roast. The rest we will make take this piece and make stew meat or cube steaks out of it. Did three roast, a couple of tip steaks, a pack of stew meat, and then the trim for the grinds. Uh, when you was all said and done, this yield out at 99%, or based on today's cost, that's what we did. We did today's cost and just regular retails that we have now. Uh, the true cost was 275, yielding out at 99%. And this actually uh, would have brought you 47% uh, gross profit just if you just did this basic. Okay, we're gonna take the second peeled knuckle and show you how to merchandise sirloin tip side steaks and sirloin tip center steaks. To merchandise those out, get a little more variety and a lot more profit out of the peeled knuckle. The key to this is to trim it up really nice, trying to get a lot of that connective tissue and product stuff off of there so it merchandises out nice to kind of make a more of a premium looking steak when we get done with it. Okay. I'm going to trim off the bottom part of this sirloin. Try to just kind of follow that seam. We'll take that and we'll make cube steak and stew meat. Okay, now, what we're going to do now, we're going to seam this sirloin tip. It's called a Sierra steak, a sirloin tip eye, a sirloin tip center steak, but we want to take that and peel that out and then trim it up. Want to make sure you get all this off. This thing needs to be cleaned up. Just take that and square that little piece off. Then just take these and cut these half inch to three quarter. Like I said before, I've, these are commonly referred to sirloin tip center steaks or Sierra steaks. This is a very 
tender piece of meat does well on the grill does well marinated then put on the grill and it's an alternative to those premium steaks like a ribeye uh, filet New York strip you can get a good good margin out of this but it offers that customer uh, an alternative to having to spend the money on the premium steaks I have had these these are very flavorful good beef flavor and very tender and you could also uh, drop them through the tenderizer once, get another 20 or 30 cents a pound of them to get your margin even higher on these. But again, very easy to cut, and uh, the stores that do have them now are doing really well with them. So let's get them out of our way and get into this part here. This is the sirloin tip side, or once we cut them into steaks, they're also referred to as breakfast steaks. Again, all you do the same thing, you just trim this up, get all that connective tissue and fat and all that stuff off of it. You wanna make these lean as well. The retailers that you can get out of this will allows you to trim these up really nice, make them look really nice and uh, get you a good profit out of them. These are also good on the grill, but they uh, tend to meet, need to be more marinated than the Sierra steak does. But again, they are very good on the grill, good beef flavor, nice cut. So uh, there you have it. Uh, you can merchandise a knuckle out, get two different things. Again, an uh, alternative to the premium steak for the customer, offer more variety uh, and get you more profit out of these. So. This here is where the, the second peeled knuckle we did, where we merchandised out the Sierra steak or center, uh, the sirloin tip center steak or the breakfast or the center uh, sirloin tip uh, side steaks. We also took it one step farther on the trim where we could and got all the cube steak we could out of it. And then this here will be uh, into, into your ground beef, the trim is. But this here uh, also yielded out at a 99%. Uh, but merchandising this way here, actually gave you 49% uh, gross profit versus the 47. Even if you were to have the sirloin tips in a, in a front page at 299, if you'll take some of those knuckles and merchandise them out and put these out there, you can bring up your margins and kind of help you kind of offset some of that loss leader, we call it out there. But again, like I mentioned before, these steaks are very good on the grill, very tender, good beef flavor, great for marinating. Uh, and I think you'll notice too that the size of these, uh, the retail, the total retail won't be sticker shock to the customer. I think you'll notice if you put these out there, put a sign on them, new item to, or whatever, talk to the customer about it, you'll be surprised of how many of these you could sell. The next primer we're gonna do are the bottom round flats. The first one we'll do, we're just gonna trim it up and just basically cut it into roast uh, like you would if you had a front page item for $2.99, just, just the basic, easiest way you can do it. And then we'll do a second one, merchandise it out and show you how you can make more money and, and have more variety. On all of them though, no matter what you're doing to them, you always wanna trim them up really nice and get all this off of there, make them look good, because when the customer gets at home, especially this stuff here, it's real chewy, tough. Uh, no matter what they do to it, it's, it's just not a good experience. Okay, turn it over. You don't want to skin all the fat off the back. You just want to knock the high points down. Depending on what your trim policy is,
that piece. This kind of stuff like that, I would just throw that away as well. Okay, it's not too bad. Don't want to trim it all the way down or you're hurting your own self with profit and sales, so. All right, a lot of times, what a lot of people do when we have bottom rounds, rumps or whatever and they add cheap, they just basically just chunk the whole thing. So that's what we're gonna do for the purposes of this training. of fat out of there. That's the basic way, uh, easiest way. Uh, and we will do another one here that shows a very uh, more profitable way. Okay, the very first uh, bottom round flat we did, we just did the basic. We made, uh, just made it all into roast and then the trim for the ground beef. Uh, this came out to a 95% saleable yield. Uh, cost of true cost of 257 and this actually was about a 53 percent gross just on this uh, basic cutting it into roast which is not all bad so anyway let's look at the second one here okay here's our second bottom round flat and for time purposes we went ahead and trimmed everything up so now it's ready to show you how to merchandise this in a couple of couple of ways to kind of get you some more variety and some extra profit uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this muscle here off we're going to seam this off the side try to stay as close as you can there like that and then that there can be merchandised as a bottom round roast uh, or uh, cube steak or stew meat and just trim this part off trim okay now what you want to do you want to take this point and cut it back uh, about right into here just like that. And then this part here, I'm gonna do something with that. This part here will merchandise into bottom rounds or London broil, but this here we're gonna take, uh, square it off a little bit, and we're gonna make some, go in the opposite direction of the grain and cut them about three quarters inch. These are called Western tip steaks. It's a very nice piece of meat, but I will say it does need to be marinated uh, or tenderized or both, but that's just another version of what you can do with this uh, bottom round and get you some extra profit. Again, that is more of an economical steak, more affordable for a lot of people that don't want to buy the ribeye or the T-bone or whatever, but 
merchandise these in a couple in a pack. I would also encourage tenderize them, drop to a tenderizer a couple times, get you another 20, 20 to 30 cents a pound on that. That's called the Western Tip Steak. And then the rest of this, we will just take it uh, and we can make bottom rounds steaks out of it. Uh, or I'll make a thick one where you can make a London broil. Put these in a 10S or you can cut them in half and put them in a 20, uh, whatever you use it in your particular store. Just another way to merchandise a bottom round and these are very nice looking when you cut them. I see a lot of stores that just take this and instead of taking that that point off they'll just start cutting bottom round steaks and then they kind of the grain gets all where it shouldn't be and it's tough and you can see by the looks of this that by cutting it against the grain like this how much better it looks. Just trim whatever you can at quarter inch, eighth inch, whatever your policy is. There you have it. The second one we did uh, also was a 95% saleable yield. The difference with this, we actually cut some western tip steaks, uh, made some bottom rounds, uh, London broil, and then uh, uh, had a bottom round roast uh, out of it as well as some trim for the grinds. Uh, that came up to about a 55% gross profit. Uh, you could get even more out of this if you would drop these through the tenderizer and get you another 20, 30 cents a pound. You could also do the same thing with the bottom rounds. Uh, this is just the basic merchandising from that, but every time you tenderize or make it thin, get you another 20 or 30 cents a pound out of it. Um, and it not only does it increase uh, the variety, increase your sales, uh, you'll see your gross profit go up as well. Okay, the final part of what we're doing today is the shoulder clod. We're gonna cut uh, two of them up. The first, we're just kinda gonna do it in a basic way, and then the second piece, we'll show you how to merchandise it out even farther, so. Uh, for time purposes, we have went ahead and trimmed this up pretty well, so now we can kinda just get started then. Uh, first thing we wanna do is seam out this blade. And then we can just start cutting some roast here. Square this up a little bit, maybe make some stew meat out of that. And just start making some shoulder roast. A little bit and you can also make shoulder stakes out of this about three quarter inches on this and that off there and then we'll just make that into stew meat This part here is uh, called the top blade. It's a, it can be made into, trimmed up and just left as a roast, or it can be uh, trimmed up and uh, cut into top blade steaks. This also where you get the flat iron at, so in the next one we do, we'll kind of trim this up and, and show you how to do flat iron. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna make this into a, top blade roast and uh, some top blade steaks.
square that up. And we'll just leave this, trim a little of that off and just leave this as a roast. Okay, the first shoulder clod that we did, we did it kind of in a basic way with some roast, stew meat, uh, cut the blade roast off, made a roast, and some top blade steaks, and uh, the trim is for ground beef. Based on today's current cost, uh, this thing yielded out a saleable yield of 87%, uh, true cost of $2.86 a pound. Uh, but with today's retails, if you were to do this, uh, the gross profit came out of about a 47% on this. So uh, very good, uh, but the second one we have uh, should come out a little better. So uh, let's talk about it. Okay, the last thing we have today is the second shoulder clod. And so you didn't have to watch us trim and do all that. We trimmed everything out seamed everything out like we did in the first one and came up with these these two sections here uh, where we took the first one and made the top blade roast or top blade steaks we took this and got uh, a flat iron which you just basically all you do is seam off that top part uh, just like that from this connective tissue do the same thing on the bottom and that's that is actually your flat iron and you can just portion them into whatever size steaks you want there for flat iron steaks. And this is the same thing the restaurants use. So, uh, and do not be afraid to get a price out of that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting six nine nine seven ninety nine out of these. Uh, customers are used to buying these in the restaurants, so they will recognize the flat iron steak in your store. Uh, so that's one. And then the other part here, once you get it all trimmed down, I went ahead and cut it just for time, but uh, the small end, just take and cut off these little steaks like this. These are called ranch steaks. That's what they're actually called. Very, very tender piece of meat. Uh, just like that. And when you get to where that, that little piece of that tissue is in there, stop and then just turn, just uh, cut those into uh, shoulder steaks. That's what these are here. So again, like we said before, uh, don't be afraid to tenderize them and add another 20 to 30 cents, but uh, cut this way. These are very, very tender, flavorful uh, pieces of meat. Again, can add variety to your case. Uh, add to your sales and then you know with the price you can get out of some of these versus just a regular old uh, shoulder steak and you, you can maybe you call them something different maybe it's something you uh, uh, brand for your store but very very good piece of meat so uh, that concludes uh, what we have today with these three primals hopefully we have uh, helped uh, teach somebody that there uh, are other stuff in, inside these primals besides just uh, uh, the roast or the stew meat or the cube to try to uh, enhance your variety, your sales, and uh, your profit as well. Thanks a lot. Okay, the final piece of meat we did today was the second shoulder clod. Unlike the first one where we just basically cut some roast and stew meat, uh, we merchandise in this and completely out where we did get stew meat, but we merchandise the ranch steaks and these uh, shoulder steaks that you could brand at your, as your store, whatever you wanted to call them, charcoal steaks or whatever. Uh, and then we cut the flat irons out of it and also had the grinds. This particular clod had 89% saleable yield uh, and netted you a 52% gross profit. So you can see if you take a little bit of time and merchandise these cuts down a little deeper, uh, it does pay off. And again, do not forget, tenderizing everything, another 20 to 30 cents a pound. You can tenderize these, you can tenderize these, tenderize stew meat's a great seller now. So anything you want to tenderize, make sure you get that 20, 30% uh, cents a pound more uh, to enhance your gross profit.
That concludes uh, our merchandising today of the bottom round flat, peeled knuckle, and shoulder clod. Hopefully you find something helpful that can help your individual store, add more variety to your case, add sales, and gross profit to your bottom line. Thanks for watching.